Hey, Alex, uh, the, the threes certainly jump off the stat sheet, but uh, what was the defensive pressure that you guys put on that light tonight? Uh, where, did, where did that energy come from, and what were you guys executing well on that side of the court? Um, you know, we just try to carry over from what we watched on film uh, from last game. Uh, Clippers kind of did that to us, and we weren't, uh, whether it was early game or us just not coming out ready to play. Uh, just playing, you know, with a, a disposition, a, a team energy, team will of getting stops, playing physical, uh, and sharing the ball. And, you know, we came out, and I thought we did a really good job of that to start the game and then carried it through for the win. And then go back to the threes. Are, do you think three-point shooting is contagious that there have been in kind of the Sacramento game, right? Making them all games, same thing this one. Clipper game, it seems like nothing's going to fall. What, what is it that you guys can do to, to create those threes, even on a night where you're not hitting? Like how, how does that all put together for you from three-point shooting? Yeah, I, I don't think it's it's makes are contagious, but I think, you know, ball movement, ball energy makes, 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 three-point makes contagious. Um, you know, we're just creating great shots. We've got extra passes. Uh, we're getting to the paint, spraying out to open guys, and depending on who's helping. Um, we're just making good decisions for our teammates, and, and when you make plays for others, uh, you know, it's a little easier to, to shoot it, and usually they go in more. Kyle. Hey, Alex. Um, you know, Kyle uh, or Kuzma said uh, after the Clippers game that he, he wanted to see Kalen make plays for others a little more. Um, and Kalen had six assists tonight. What, how does that change the whole offense when Kalen is, is kind of looking for others and, and making passes? Um, yeah, I don't even think it's just Talon, but, but I mean, speaking on Talon, he just has such a great ability to get downhill and get to the paint, right? He has such great uh, body control and strength for his age. Um, and then he has long arms to be able to get in there and finish when he needs to. But, uh, you know, that's just part of his development. You know, he, he's he, he's been such a natural scorer and natural uh, ball handler getting to the rim uh, that, you know, it's just part of his growth. Uh, part of his growth and, and playing in the league, you, you, you realize what you can do and what you can get away with. And, um, game by game, he's doing a great job of, of trying to figure that out, and uh, I think tonight just you know shows the growth that he's making. Bill, hey Alex, I'm, I'm wondering what kind of lesson um, you think can be learned from the way Mark has responded to um, the last week and the, and the addition of Drummond and, and then the way he's been able to contribute over these last two games with Andre Allen. Uh, he's a pro, man. You know, he, he he's been in this league for a number of years. He's a selfless guy, uh, great teammate. You know, that's part of the reason, I mean, everybody on the team is, is on, on this team for that reason. You know, the, we know they're going to be great teammates. We know that the end goal is to win championships. And uh, there, there's different looks for our team that are better. And, uh, you know, some of these some of these games, being able to stretch the fives out has been an advantage for us. So, so Mark's been valuable in that uh, that respect. And then, you know, just getting him involved. Like I said earlier, the more we, we hop the ball around, Mark is such a great passer, has a such great uh, IQ for the game that, when we kind of play this way, um, I think it, it benefits him as well as the other, the rest of the team. Danny? Uh, so you guys had 17 threes against the Kings, seven against them, 18 tonight. Is that like the obvious that the, 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 they're a better team in the standings and so they provide more of a, a line of defense on the perimeter? Or was it something that you guys got back to doing in this game that maybe you did in the second better game that was lacking in the Clippers game? Yeah, I think it's just our team consistency. Um, that, and I mean, you know, some days you make shots, some days you don't. You always got to take that into effect. Uh, you know, guys don't shoot 70, 80%. You know, some nights you're going to have a, a 0 for 3 or 0 for 4, and other nights you're going to be like tonight where you're 4 for 5 or, or have, make however many. So uh, you always got to keep it in perspective of, you know, it's a long season. Sometimes you make shots, sometimes you don't. But like I harped on earlier, we can make it easier on ourselves. Uh, I think we did a lot to. I think we were just trying too hard against the Clippers to try and make something happen and make something work rather than just kind of trusting each other and playing through whatever they were giving us defensively. Last question, BT. What's up, Alex? How beneficial was yesterday's practice with you guys' defense? And what do you know at what point you can die on the floor for a loose ball? Um, yeah, yesterday, actually, we, we you know, our practice was offensive focused, you know, because even, I mean, through the Clippers game, we only gave up 104, 106 points, which is, you know, really good for an NBA team still. Uh, top half, top 10% uh, in the league for 
defensive efficiency. So it was really more about our offense, um, making good passes, running through our, our different uh, actions that we got. And that's probably why, you know, it carried over to the game today. We got great threes because that's kind of the stuff we worked on yesterday. Uh, as far as diving on the floor for a loose ball, you know, it's kind of like every other thing that, that I, I do, um, just trying to anticipate the play, uh, whether it's a steal, rebound, an assist, or, or a, a shot. And the one tonight, I just realized I wasn't going to be able to outrun. Uh, I think it was Malachi uh, Flynn. So uh, just had to realize, you know, jump on the floor, get the ball, and make a play.